Hey everybody, good afternoon, good morning, uh, good evening, I'm not, wherever you're you're at. I'm not sure what time of day it is for you, but I hope you're doing alright. Have a good day, good weekend. Uh, real quick, I would like to go over what is actually contained in this book. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos on grading recently, uh, and I would just like everyone to be properly informed uh, about it. Um, when you grade lumber, it is according to what is contained in this book. Now, I know you've probably seen a short of me saying that, but this is going to be a little bit longer in detail what is actually inside of this book. And this nifty little stick next to me uh, is my grading ruler. This is a two-footer, uh, 24 inches. They do make them three foot, uh, 36. That's what I use every day, uh, Monday through Friday, most Fridays anyway, uh, grade lumber. This tells me the surface measure of each board, okay? And there is a different way uh, to obtain the surface measure. You just have to take the length of the board times the width of the board and then divide it by 12, dropping all fractions. Now you can round up, you know, say you, you land on eight and seven twelfths, uh, it'll round up, you could do an eight or a nine, um, just so everyone's aware of what the stick is doing here. Um, so in this book, it uh, gives us a breakdown, uh, rules, things we need to know about grading lumber. A uh, foreword in the beginning, not to let your judgment supersede what you learn in this book. There's several other things in here uh, that are very important to know. You know, it tells you measurement, standard length, standard thicknesses, everything you need to know. I do have a very large portion of this memorized. Uh, I have to for my job. It defines cuttings, you know, burl, seasoning checks. Uh, if you want all a list of all the definitions, you go to page 34 or 84, excuse me, on this book. Uh, but I will be turning this to page 20. It also breaks down standard grades and the rules that apply to each grade. For instance, the grade of FAS or surface measure times 10 and that surface measure times 10 does encompass one face and better and select. Uh, what does surface measure times 10 mean? Well, that's how we determine our yield. It's called uh, the amount of units that are in our cutting or in the board. So, uh, like I said, turning page 20 to the chart uh, on this page, breaks down all the grades for us. FAS, FAS one face, and select all fall under the category of yielding surface measure times 10 for our basic yield. Okay, and and I will, get, you know, you can obviously see the minimum cutting sizes here, four by five and three by seven. Uh, but I would just like to point out that just because you can find the minimum cutting size in a board does not mean that you will yield grade. Uh, that just means that there's a chance there. And and when grading lumber, we're not looking for defects. We're not looking for knots or bark pockets or pin knots uh, or wane or anything else like that. We are looking for clear, obtainable cuts of lumber or cuttings. Those are defined as a section of the board obtained by rip or cross cut or by both. Uh, but, but it will be defect free. In the case of FAS, FAS one face and select. Anything yielding surface measure by 10. Uh, you know, you can see one common here, 2A and B common. The yield changes, as you can see. Lower gr quality grades, uh, there will be waste on the board, most sometimes. Uh, but you can see surface measure by eight for one common. Apologies for the blurriness. Uh, my camera's being a little weird. Surface measure times six for 2A and B common. Now, what does that mean? 2A common would be our clear face cuttings. 2B common, sound cuttings. Those are defined, again, on page 84. Uh, there's special yields. You know, for FA, anything yielding surface measure times 10, it's considered the 97% rule. And that doesn't mean that it works 3% uh, of the time. Lots of stuff in this book, and and there's certain stipulations, you know, uh, to 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 make the grades of surface measure times ten or FAS one face or select, which that is called. Uh, you know, Wayne cannot exceed half the length or one third of the width. What is Wayne? 
well, real quick, the definition of wane is bark or lack of wood. So for instance, this spalded maple board here, if we could just forget the spalding because that would automatically make this a uh, three common board because that is a detrimental defect. Spalding is just pretty looking rot. But if we could take away the spalding on this board, this would be a completely clear board that just had wane on both sides. So this could not yield surface measure times 10 or FAS just because of the wane. Now if we were to edge this wane off and the spalding was not there, this would be a completely clear board yielding surface measure times 10 in one cutting. Now, there's a certain amount of cuttings that are allowed per grade. Right here, this will tell us our formula to determine the number of cuts. This is a very handy book to have around. At my, uh, at my work, we actually have a huge board uh, with this chart on it, hanging right up on the grading decks. So, in case anybody, uh, I'm the actual uh, only grader there. Um, I guess that makes me the head lumber inspector. But, uh, you know, page 22 at the bottom of there starts standard inspection by species. And here you can see a bunch of species grouped together. That uh, just means that the rules are standard for all of these. Now in other species, you'll notice hard maple. Uh, most of the time, hard maple is sold unspecified or unselected for color. Um, we sell it unselected for color, uh, but it can be color sorted. You know, white lumber, uh, obviously, mostly sapwood. Uh, a lot of places do, do a certain ratio on that. For instance, in cherry, they like to do a select and better 90-50 containing no less than 90% heartwood on one face and no less than 50% on the reverse. Uh, we'll end up making our way to page 28, 27 and 28 and reviewing poplar and red oak and white oak. Uh, red oak and white oak are considered, well, as well as locusts, they're all in the same category there as far as their mineral rule. Here we go. Oh, apologies, bottom of page 26. But, uh, you know, red oak, white oak and locusts have a mineral rule uh, not exceeding one twelfth in the aggregate. See on this next page, we also gives you instructions and, and rules for the quarter sawn red oak, white oak, and, lo and locust. We have quarter sawn sycamore there. Poplar is a very common one. Uh, you know, mineral appearing in poplar. I hate seeing people spend boatloads of money on what what's called rainbow poplar or purple purple destruction, you know, all the foolish names they come up with. Mineral is a defect, okay? Those things making that, that turn it color uh, and give it that, that pretty color, sure, it's beautiful, worthless. Uh, it, I mean, it, it's, when I, when I grade it, I have to grade against it, okay? Um, you know, just, this is just a quick browsing of this this book to show you guys what's in it and why it's important you know companies buy lumber based on this they wouldn't want to buy a bunch of lumber graded as fas that would only yield a, a one and two common they would be furious you know it would get sent back and you would lose lots of money uh, also walnut and butternuts in here um, these are different rules for walnut and butternut uh, what's called defect grading for eight foot and shorter uh, goes cypress. We have quartered red gum, aspen. That's something we do at, at my work. Uh, we saw quite a bit of aspen also. But there will be long videos on this. I will break down uh, the definitions. I will go through each and every species that we do uh, and, and go through the grading requirements, uh, special rules and such that, that apply to that. Here's page 84, the definitions. These are very, very important. You know, you can, for instance, boxed heart, that's, that's one that, that is unfortunately a very common thing that you see people try to push. That's pith appearing anywhere within the four faces of, of lumber, uh, anywhere throughout the length. You know, clear face cutting is defined, sound cuttings are defined. Uh, lots of different stuff, but I will be breaking all of these things down. I just wanted everyone to have a very good idea of what it takes to do lumber, or to grade lumber, I should say. Um, I will have long form videos coming. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. And again, I'm not taking anything from anyone or, 
or attempting to be rude. I would just like the proper information to be out there. This is my job. It's been, you know, my livelihood for almost 10 years. It's how I support my wife, my three kids, my dogs, and I. Uh, it's something I love. You know, I love lumber. Uh, it's something I've always been very fond of, the outside in general, trees in general. Um, but I, I, I'd like to just give everybody who, who's actually out there promoting this uh, a big thumbs up because this is a, a, a difficult, unknown job and it takes a lot to do it. You know, uh, people just see lumber and they're like, oh, that's wood, that's wood. But there's so much in it. It tells a story. If you guys enjoy, uh, like, subscribe, comment. A lot more to come. Have a great one.